Hello viewers, my name is Gulfam and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, I am going to show you some of the beautiful places that I visited during my two trips to Uzbekistan, one in September 2022 and another one in February 2023. Although I did not make any vlog for almost a year, but thanks to my colleagues, especially Alex, Rebecca, Yasmin and Lydia, who motivated me to restart vlogging and document my travel to Uzbekistan. I will start from Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan and then take you to Samarkand and Bukhara. I was amazed by Tashkent when I first arrived. The stunning and colorful lights across the city were eye-catching. The weather was awesome, the roads and streets were clean and the environment was very calm. So you can imagine that I immediately fell in love with this city. During my first visit to Tashkent, I met with my colleagues Katrina and Mahmoud, who were very welcoming and hospitable. They took me to several historic and beautiful places. During my second visit, I met with Zia, a Pakistani who is now an Uzbek national. He has been living in Tashkent for almost 30 years now. In Tashkent, my first interaction was with Uzbek food, which surprised me. Essentially, if you reduce the use of spices in Pakistani food, it will most likely be Uzbek food. I ate samsa, which we know as samosa in Pakistan. I ate pluff, which we in Pakistan call plow. I ate naan, I drank choy, I tasted kebabs, manti, and so on. The Uzbek food is very tasty and apparently health friendly. So now I'm going to drink the famous lemon chai of Tashkent. Uzbekistan Wow The temperature now in Tashkent is almost 0 degrees and uh, sometimes it even goes below 0 No, minus 1 Yeah, it's, it's my friend is saying it's minus 1 now So this lemon chai, it helps to fight with the extreme cold So this is Shashlik Kebab which is uh, also called as Sikh Kebab in Pakistan but the difference is that in Pakistan we use more spices whereas here in Uzbekistan they only use salt, a little of uh, pepper and that's it. The taste is good and I think it's better for health to utilize less spices. The region now known as Uzbekistan historically remained a center of Islamic education and research. Therefore, you will find dozens of historic madrasas, mosques and Islamic centers in this country which are now mostly non-functional and converted into tourist attractions. Famous Muslim scientists such as Avicenna, Al-Biruni, Khwarzmi and emperors such as Amir Tamur and Babur were originally from this region. In Tashkent, the Hazrat Imam complex is a very popular historic place. It has been built around the mausoleum of Ash-Shashi, who was the first Muslim Imam and preacher in Tashkent. The complex has a beautiful grand mosque, a library with more than 30,000 books, and a museum where old scriptures of the Holy Quran are preserved. So colleagues, uh, I'm at Hazrat Imam complex now and I have just visited a museum here which contains several uh, uh, copies of the Islamic holy scripture, Quran. There is also one of the oldest scriptures of the Quran written by the third Islamic Caliph, Usman Ghani Raziallah Anho, preserved here. Unfortunately, making any photograph or video of this Musaf is now illegal, but I have found a video on the internet that was probably made at a time when it was not forbidden. From Tashkent, I took the fast train called Afrosyab to Samarkand. It was a nice and very comfortable journey and we were served some light refreshments on the way. During my brief visit to Samarkand, I managed to see Registan Square which has three old madrasas, a mausoleum and a trading dome. These madrasas served as centers of Islamic learning and research from the 15th to 17th century. The tomb of the famous Hadith scholar Imam Bukhari is also situated near Samarkand but I could not manage to visit it due to a shortage of time which is very unfortunate. 
From Samarkand, I returned on the same day. After completing my official assignments in Tashkent, I boarded an Uzbek airline flight to Bukhara. The flight was a pleasant experience, lasting just under an hour. Since I had a business class ticket, I was served a refreshing glass of fruit juice. Although the airline did not provide any other refreshments, the aircraft was well maintained and the flight was smooth. Bukhara is known for its rich history as a center of Islamic education, so I made sure to explore the many madrasas, mosques and other historic sites. The highlight of my visit was the Ark of Bukhara, a massive fortress dating back to the 5th century. Although much of the fortress has been damaged over time, the remaining sections have been preserved remarkably well. Inside the fortress, I had the chance to see many historic artifacts including items used by the city's rulers, old Islamic literature and war equipment. I also visited several other attractions in Bukhara including Chorminar Madrasa, Mire Arab Madrasa, Abdul Aziz Khan Madrasa and the old trading dome. These sites offered a fascinating glimpse into the city's rich history and cultural heritage. During my trip to Bukhara, I also had the chance to visit the Bukhara Cotton Textile Factory, one of the largest cotton and textile producers in Uzbekistan. I saw their cotton farms and ginning facilities as well as their textile mills and even purchased some denim products from the factory outlet. In addition to its rich cultural heritage and industrial prowess, Bukhara also boasts excellent restaurants and nightlife. I enjoyed exploring the local cuisine and social scene during my stay. Overall, my experience in Uzbekistan was an incredibly enriching experience filled with new sights and sounds. I look forward to returning to this fascinating country again in the future. Thank you for joining on this journey and please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Do not forget to hit the like button and share this vlog with your friends. Until next time, take care.